All right, section three, operating, um, chapter two, section three, operating under usual conditions. 2A, when the paving machine has an operation mode, the paving mode, the machine can be taken out of the paving mode, racing on the screen, making minor control adjustment that travels faster speed. The operation machine, similar to the conventional diesel engine, tracks the vehicles. The machine is equipped with an independently controlled car or track steering. The spring applied with the hydraulic release brake on the track drive of the machine operating gate for the control of the range for the operator control console so that the machine instrument controls are in the front of the operator. 2-9, operator, operator initial adjustments, unlock and remove the operator control console, protective the cover, the sliding of the cover up and off the top of the console, operator control com uh, console, protective the cover, loosen the con cover, the con um, support can screw knob slowly, protective the cover over the support of the located on the top of the right axis door, screw knob, protective the cover, storage at location. Unusual. Unlock the remove the left and right screw screw control protective control of the position from the covers all the way all the way open lightning straight and up with the hinge protective cover slot hinge screw knob speed control screw control box. Slightly um so the protective to covers on the top of the screw control box turning with the protective cover upside down setting with a hinge pin and securing them with a screw top through the top of the slot. Protective cover and storage location hinge pin position the operator control console to the desired operating position. Turn the control clock turn the control clockwise but um counter Clockwise, unlock the operator control console, slide the operator control console along the guide shaft of the desired position. Three, lock the console in place during the control console brake handle clockwise. Operator console gives guide shaft control console brake. Adjust the brake um, seat high with loosening the operator seat release knob, turning the control counterclockwise to unlock the seat, loosen the screen knob, screw in the protection over the cover to top screen control box, remove the cover, remove the retaining pin and lock pin. Right hand operator has been locking retaining pin seat release knob. All right, warning. Stream camera must be taken when working with on the platform paper. The machine failing with the platform can cause severe injury to death, raising a lower operating seat with a comfortable three foot height, allowing adequate visibility around the paving, um, paving machine. Place the locking pin, counter pin, tighten the seat, relief the lock, uh, knob clockwise to lock the seat in position, screw the protective cover on the top of the screen control box. By turning the protective cover over upside down, upside down, setting on the hinge pin, the screw with the screw knob, and then through the slot. Now adjust the um, seat from point for position forward, backward. Pull the seat lever, the lever out of the way from the operator seat. Slide the operator seat forward, backward, come with the rotable position. Push the seat release lever and lock in the operation seat position. Seat release lever. 210 paving machine. Not, no, all crew members must be thoroughly machine, um, familiar with location. You have the control as an instrument accessory character of the paving machine before using. Prior to operating the paving machine at the beginning with each personal change, the daily checks and services outlined in paragraph 27. Set the paving machine controls in the following position. Gauge panel and position control handles neutral. Work light switch off. The total control switch idle. Speed rain switch. Tortoise pave. Um, travel switch neutral. Switch panel screen vibrator and switch off auger conveyor switch off speed control panel screen fuel pump switch off screen burners control switch off screen boiler blower switch off feed control valve feeder control switch off auger conveyor reverser control switch off. So the control handle the travel switch the speed rain switch the throttle control switch work lights auger conveyor switches speed vibrator switch um auger conveyor reverse lever controller speed fuel pump switch screen blower switches feed feeder control switches screen burner switches no the left screen control panel show the right screen control panel similar but does not include the screen fuel pump switch. Alright, warning. Injury, op injuring an operation call to the hazard noise level that may cause hearing with loss of the wear eye protection while operating the worker near the paving the opera machine. Conveyor movement that may cause the injury or death, ensuring no personnel is in the hopper and starting the engines. Caution to start the motor. Motor may overheat the operating longer than 30 seconds. The engine does not start. Lava started to cool two or three minutes before trying again. Engine fails to start after three attempts. Notify the unit maintenance. Note prior to the operating the unusual environmental weather condition to prevent, refer to the operation unusual environmental weather. Paragraph 227. Turn the ignition switch start position immediately release the engine start then switch and the ring return to on position incorrect oil pressure can cause engine damage if the en if the gauge does not properly readings shut down the engine correct the malfunction before operation all right check the engine oil pressure for the engine oil pressure develops immediately shut down with the engine engine oil pressure gauge should be read from 10 to 15 psi minimum low idle 30 130 to 100 psi maximum high idle it causes an incorrect oil pressure for the temperature can cover the engine damage if the, if the gauges do not display proper reading shot of the engine correctly malfunction over the before operation. Do not lay idle unnecessary over long periods of time. Idling of the engine on unnecessary long periods of time um, fuels and fouls, fouls the injectors unburdened fuel causes the burned up uh, carbon buildup. Oil dilution form in the locker over the gummy and deposit of the valve and the piston rings after the starting start up observe the engine gauge with the warning lights and proper readings. RPM five hundred and sixty to eight hundred and fifty. Oil pressure ten to 
115 PSI coolant, 170 degrees to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, hydraulic oil temperature, 100 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, voltage 12 to 14 BC, volts DC. Run the engine idle for five minutes before paving the operation. Begin the jet rate for the engine during the warm-up period. 211, pay when the machine shut down. Position the control handles in uh, neutral and place the spray speed range in down toward us. Pay, um, play, pay position, place the travel switch in the down neutral position. If in use, play for the screen fuel pump switch on the left screen control panel in the, in the down off position. Show for the control handles and the travel switch speed range switch. Um, e, place the screen burner control switch in the center off position. Cold down period of five minutes. Play for the screen blower switch in the down off position. Play for the feed control switch in the down off position. Shows the screen fuel pump switch, screen burner control switch, screen blower switch, and fuel feeder control switch. All right, place the aggravator switch in the center off position. Warning, do not open the screen travel lock for the valve that anyone near or under the screen of the screen can fall rapidly with the screen travel lock valve with the open and follow the screen can cause severe injury or death. If the screen is travel position, you for the caution open the street on the screen travel the lock valve rather than paragraph two one four. Place the screen left switch in the down float position, lower the screen and then the screen rest in the ground. The screen um lift lift switch auger conveyor switch controls, place the throttle control switch idle position idler and idle position. Idle the engine for one minute, allow the engine to cool. Place the ignition switch in the stop position. The stop in position, ignition switch, valve control switch. If the sh shutdown follows paving, sh follows paving operation, refer to the fuel spray, wash down spray, system operation, paragraph 337. No, protect the covers provided with the brackets and insulation padlocks. Remove the operator cover and control console. Protect the cover of the storage, the storage lot. Location in the front of the top of the um, right access door. Install the protective cover in the operator control console. Slide of the control cover. Console over the control handles. Lift the open slot on the conveyor. Remove the free control box. Um, Protective covers over the storage location, the top of the controller boxes. Install the protective covers over the screen crew, crew, crew control boxes by sliding the hinge over the cover over the hinge pin on the box over the protective covers. 212, traveling procedure. Starting with the paving machine, paragraph 210. On the gauge panel, following, play the throttle control switch in the maximum position. Lift the screen, travel position, even the screen, lift switch, close the screw, travel lock, lever, in paragraph 214. Play for the throttle control switch in the position achieved with the desired um, speed. The select with the desired speed. And rapidly move the throttle of the control switch to idle to the center detent. Move the speed range with the switch on the operator control console up in the hair to travel position. Move the travel switch up and forward and reverse forward reverse position. All right, show the um, travel switch, speed range switch, throttle control switch, speed lift switch. All right, pull, pull the control handle, release the slow, move the control handle direction, travel set travel speed, travel the, um, travel forward, move both control handles forward at an equal amount to move, travel backward, move both controllers backward at an equal amount to turn, move, 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 turn, turn, move one control handle farther than the other control handle, to pivot the machine and play with moving the control handle forward and the other and control handle and backward in an equal distance at the same time. All right, loading the hopper warning. Do not raise the lower hopper wings personal while working around the front of the machine. Unexpected hopper wa wing raising and lowering can cause serious injury. Ensure all personnel will clear the hopper wings before operating the hopper wings. Fully lower the hopper wings, holding the hopper wing switch down in the lower position. Shove the control handle forward, reverse left and right um, hopper wing switches. All right, warning. Do not, um, personal, personal could be crushed if the cop between the hull of the truck and the pave of the machine. Do not allow the person in front of the hopper when loading the hopper over the asphalt, um, truck, um, hull truck. Ensure the person will clear of the front of the machine packing the hull truck up in the paving machine. Failure to do so result in the serious injury or death. Back of the hull truck, the paving machine until, until the truck re re rear wheels make the contact with the push rollers. Caution and establish good communication between the paving machine operator, hull truck driver, and the even the caution with the hull trucks backing up, backing up the hauler. Do not let the hull truck bed hit the hopper doors. Damage to the hopper wings may result in the collision with the hull truck bed. When in position, install the hull truck operator with the raised the dumps bed slowly, but the paving material fall, flows down in the paving machine hopper. Show the push roller and the truck rear wheel, um, the haul truck bump bed humper, hopper wing. All right, 214, um, auger operation, the auger failure system and the dual system, they are left and right control with operate each of the system together independently different modes if they required following operator instructions, discuss the operating with the following system, the dual system, operate left and right side, so independently you put the left and right side control separately. 214.1 manual operation, turn the left and right, uh, left or in right auger speed control with the fully clockwise and then back off the e valve three clicks and this is done balancing out the auger speed with the starting pavement to further adjusting of the speed left and right auger air system, turn the speed control valve clock on clockwise to increase speed, clockwise to decrease speed, play for the left and right auger switch in the manual position. 
uh, 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 um, either left the right feed control switch, um, left the right flow gate. You can be used to regulate the flow of the material and paving material with the hopper to auger. The two controls can be used to independently to get the maintained desired level of pavement material in the auger or chamber. The switches are located on both the left and the right screen um, panels. The operator controls the switch and panel. C. Move the flow gate switch over the up and the um, increase the material flow down and increase the top of the material flow. The flow gate is, um, switch to the U to maintain proper pavement the material level in the auger in the chamber. The depth of the pavement material should be maintained one half of three quarters of the height of the auger diameter. All right, auger conveyor control switch. Um, right auger conveyor switch, left auger conveyor switch. The note the left screen control panel should be on the right screen control panel it is similar. The flow gate switch and flow control feeder control switch. Job left the right feeder with the control switch up and on, down, up uh, on and down off to um, maintain proper um, paving material level of the auger chamber. Depth of the paving material should be maintained one half to three quarters of the height of the auger diameter. Show the paving material auger chamber. Um, in the reverse operation of the auger conveyor, the desire of the manual mode of the auger conveyor switches in the operative of the control console the operation. Turn the feeder control switch in the screen control panel off and play for the auger conveyor reverse control switch in the on up on position. Place the auger switch in the down position. The auger conveyor um, reverse can switch up in the reverse position. The auger conveyor manual operation reverse desired. The auger conveyor reverse control switches are located on both left and right screen panels only. All right, 214 automatic, 214 two automatic operation. Turn the lever and right auger conveyor speed control valve with the clock, um, fully clockwise. Turn the back off with three clicks. If this is done by the balancing out of the auger conveyor speed, starting with the paving, further adjust the speed left and right auger conveyor system. Turn the speed control valve counterclockwise to increase the speed, clockwise to decrease the speed. In the reverse operation of the auger conveyor system, this is over the manual mode of the auger conveyor switch for the operator with the control console in the manual. Turn the auger conveyor. Switch on the screen control panel to off. Place the auger in the conveyor reverse control switch in the up and on position. Place the left and right auger control switch in the conveyor switch as on operator control switch panel to the up auto position. Place the left and right feeder switch in the on position, up on position, both screen and control panels. Ensure the auger conveyor lights indicates on the gauge panel are on. If the automatic controls and not maintaining proper level of the auger chamber, the rate of the lower than feed. Flow gates increase the degrees of speed of the auger control uh, the auger conveyor system by adjusting the auger conveyor speed control valve adjusting feed limit switch panel. So the auger um, conveyor re reversers um, control switch, the um, right auger conveyor switch, left auger conveyor switch, and the feed control switch. All right, two fourteen three feed limit switch paddle adjustment. Note that feed limit switch paddle adjustment is the same length with the right pad left and right paddles. Increase the amount of the material allowed with the accumulated auger chamber during the automatic conveyor system operation. Use the following procedure: loosen the hex nut, loosen the thumb screw, slide, slide, slide the feed limit switch paddle upward in depth of the desire. Tighten the thumb screw and the hex nut. B to decrease the amount of material allowed with the accumulated auger chamber during the auto automatic and auger conveyor system operation. Use the following procedure: loosen the hex nut, lo lock, loosen the thumb screw, speed, slide the feed limit of the switch paddle downward to the depth desired. Tighten the thumb screw net. Show the hex nut thumb screw um, feed limit switch and the increase and decrease. 215 flow gate operation. Note the flow gate switch is located on both switch panel screen with the control panel flow gate switch is on the left and right screen panel with the control valve flow gates on the each of the slide button side respectively. All right, change the flow gate position, hold the flow gate switch in the up position, increase the flow of the down position, decrease the flow of flow gate, reach for the desired position, release the flow gate switch, the flow switch will um, spring will return to central neutral position. Show the left flow gate switch, right flow gate switch, the left gate flow gate switch, um, left, screen, left screen control rate, and shown at the right screen control panel, similar but does not include the discrete fuel pump switch. 216 screed burner operation. Start the paving machine per paragraph 210. Set the throttle control switch to the lever maximum. Raise screed paragraph to two paragraph per paragraph 212. Extend left and right screed extension fully open. The extension screed control switch is left and right screed control panels on the switch. Panel paragraph 219. Lower the screed paragraph 2.212. Ensure the four left and right and panels extension screed burners are fully open. Note manual fuel shutoff valve must be open during the screed burner operation. Valve is open with the valves is straight up. Ensure the screed burner and fuel shutoff valve is open turning the valve handle into the 12 o'clock position screen burner valve fuel off fuel shut off valve screen burner vent and uh, place the screen fuel pump switch on the le on the screen the screen control panel in the up position screen burner squ um, control switch fuel screen fuel pump switch screen blower switch warning do not leave the screen unattended while the burners are in operation. If the burners are extinguished, fuel pump is running with a hot screen plate with accumulate flammable diesel fuel. Flames do not go out immediately. Shut the fuel supply. Raise the screen. Off, drain off the excessive fuel. Ventilate, ventilate the area before relighting. Causing excessive heat can cause damage to the screen pads. Do not operate with the burners longer than 15 minutes. 
Trilling edge main extension screen plates must be free of material buildup. Material buildup on either screen plate block proper burner ventilation causes excessive smoke generation. Proper heating with screen plates. Ignite the lift um, left extension left main screen burners separate from the right extension right main screen burners. Hold the left extension screen main screen burner control switch in the down position preheat position. Um, Jay, after the second, um, the show the speed control burner switch, the screen fuel pump switch, speed boiler switch. After 15 seconds, spray the screen burner control switch in the up and spray position. Note that uh, the burn ignites the, um, there. There should be an audible sound indicating the combustion and speed. Smoke and flame should be visible from the burning ignite, um, the burner ignites. When burner ignites, the ignition is conformed with the observing the smoke with the flame audible sound with the turning extension on the screen and the main screw with the blur blur lower switches in the up and on position. If the burner does not repeat the steps G for the UK maximum of four times, if the burner fails to ignite the fourth attempt, refer to the upper troubleshooting paragraph 32. Um, M, repeating the other steps, um, G through K for the right extension screen, the right main screen, um, screen burners. Adjust the screen blow to achieve the desired burner flame to open the vent to increase the flame, close the vent, decrease the flame. Um, the extension screen burners turn the screen burner control switch at its off position. Um, play for the screen fuel pump the switch in the down off position. Set the screen burner to the fuel shut off valve by the turning the valve handle to 3 o'clock position. After 5 minutes, turn the screen blower switch down to the off position. Alright, 217 screen vibrator operation. Um, note the screen vibrator switch is placed on the auto position. Control handles must be moved off the center neutral position for the vibrator to operate. Place the screen vibrator switch in the down manual position for the manual vibration. Or for automatic vibration, auto, auto position for automatic vibration. Show the screen vibrator switch, auto and manual. Adjusting the screen vibration switch for the um, vibration control located with the rear of the bulkhead to uh, achieve the di or, um, screen vibration speed to turn the control valve clockwise to increase the vibration counterclockwise to increase the vibration speed control. Screen vibration should be only adjusted when the screen vibrator switches in the on manual position. If the auto position switch back to manual set vibration speed, then back to the auto position. 218 end, height, end, end gate height adjustment. Note the procedure left and right end gate uh, height adjustment is the same. Screw the end gate hand lever to release the hand lock lever device. Move the end gate hand lever to the right of the end gates backward lower um, end gates. When the end gate reaches the desired height, release the end gate hand lever to engage the locking pole. End gates are normally allowed to float on the ground paving ground during paving. End gate hand lever lock and pin. Extension speed control caution. Use the caution when retracting extension speed screen for the algorithm feed and feeder extension for the bolt extension for their install damage extension can occur. No, before paving the machine operator, the screw can extend with the retract the extension screw. Once the set the switch is located, the switch panel signal the side controls are located on each screen control panel. Move the extension screen control switch in the either switch panel left the right screen control panel direction the arrow with the track the retract the extension screens. By um, what when the screen is reached for the desired width and release switch, the spring will return to the central neutral position. Left extension screen um, screen control switch, right extension screen screen control switch, left extension screen control switch. All right, twenty two twenty. Uh, your screen your screen um your screen angle attack adjustment. The screen angle attack adjustment is either two methods, but it's low pointing method switching the screen thickness control. Both mo methods um adjusting the angle attack at theory, but the um, change of the main mat thickness even the thickness control is only with the preparation paving paragraph two twenty three. Um one when lowering the movement the switch fails. Two twenty. Um, one caution: Ensure that the low pointing lock pins are not installed with the adjusting screen angle with the attack with the low toe point movement of the switch and the two point locking pins then installed with the emergency with the toe point cylinder failed operator adjusting angle switch with the toe point with the movement of the switch may result with the damaged toe point locking pins and toe point cylinders. Ensure the two point locking pins are now installed with the installed remove the power following the both left and right sides. All right, screen toe arm toe point the flow off sh um, flow shut off valve for the toe arm support plate towing lo point locking pin. Um, hex head cap screws. No, ensure the way the screen toe arm is taken off the locking low point locking pin prior to the removal. Make an adjustment with the position of the toe arm to adjust the way off the low point of the locking pin adjust using the screen thickness control paragraph 222. You can all access paragraph 2 th um, toolbox, I'll access the toolbox paragraph 331 and retrieve wrench set. Two, use the wrench, remove the hex head cap screw with the arm um, support blade, remove the tooling pin lock pin. Four, reinstall with the hex head cap screw with the threaded hole in the toe arm support blade. Five, pull, pull the toy point locking pins wrench set back in the toolbox. You go to the toolbox, paragraph 331. 
No, ensure the toe point. Um, flow, shut off, valve is fully open counterclockwise. Hold the toe point. Movement the switch in the up of the raised position. Increase the angle of attack down. Lower position, decrease the angle of attack. When the toe point reaches the desired position, relieve the toe point. Movement switch. Using the toe point control angle of the attach is the result of the six inch mat. The thickness only. This is due to the maximum stroke length of the toe point cylinders. Degree of the material thick, um, mat thickness of the maximum, uh, minimum maximum eight mil inches. Um, refer to paragraph 226.9. Toe movement switch. All right, um, two twenty um, two twenty two. Um, perceive the left, right, and thickness of the control the same. The, um, the left thickness, um, left skidness thickness control plate. But turn the ski thickness control handle crank clock, um, clockwise. Increase the angle of attack counterclockwise. Decrease the angle of attack. No indicator of the screen thickness of the control provided with the reference only does not indicate the actual thickness of value. When the screen thickness of the control reaches the desired thickness of the lock, the screen the control um, thickness of the control is the edge plate with the position note. The position of the thickness control indicator indicator um, scale of the um, feature of use. Thickness control indicator thickness control catch plate thickness control hand crank. 221 extension screw to height adjustment. 221 one changing the extension screw to heightness. No indicator of extension screw to height that is provided with the reference only does not indicate the actual height level of the extension screw reached for the desired height. Lock of the extension screw to height cast in plate position. Note the position of the height indicator of the indicator scale for use, further use. Extension screw to height adjustment knob. Extension screw to height catch plate. Extension screw to height indicator. 221 2. Um, aligning, aligning the extension screed. Left and right extension screed, um, screed angles are set them independently of each other. Remove the quick release pin with the shaft on either left or right extension screed height, adjusting the knob slightly inboard, um, inboard the knob part of the outboard knob, and independently turn each knob to achieve the desired extension screed angle. Lift up the knob dial pins inboard on a knob with the holding the outboard knob slide together to replace the quick release pin. Um, show the outboard knob and the inboard knob dial pins and quick release pin. All right, T two twenty two screed control screed crown control. Move with the two thumb um, thumb screw with the holes in the crown screw, adjusting um, wrench of the, um, the screed. And remove the wrench grafts. The screw ski steps um, screed screed steps at the front end of the, st the top so um, step. And lift and pull the steps up and away from the tractor. Caution: Not pinch or crush the fuel hose when adjusting the screed crown adjustments. A wrench crush or fuel hose can result in fuel leakage. Use the crown adjustment wrench lock and hex nut and then to free the screed hit crown adjustment. No pointer and screen control adjustment is provided with the reference. Not only does it indicate the actual crown value to um, screen crown um, the down negative crown for the positive crown. Note the position of the pointer scale for the further use. Hex nut thumb screws crown adjusting wrench screw crown adjustment of pointer and positive and negative. Um, when the desired crown is achieved, the height in the hex and um, nut and lock, lock the screen control adjustment plate. In place. Play for the crown adjustment wrench on the screen with the replay for thumb lift and push the screen steps forward until the fully um, seated. All right, 223 paving procedure. Um, 223 one pa preparing preparation for paving. Start pre um, pa pa paving machine. Paragraph 210. Use the spray. Wash down. Paragraph 2337. Wash all the wet all the surfaces with the contact with the paving material before starting to pave. Select the throttle control the desired position. Select the desired position. Rapidly move with the throttle control and then switch aisle position. Then center of the detent to reduce the speed. Rapidly move the switch to the maximum. Then center of the detent. Increase speed. Play for the screen lift switch to the up and raise position. Fully raise screen. Close the screen lock valve valve for paragraph two. One four. All right, show the screen lift switch and the throttle control switch. Move the paving machine into the position. Screen can be lowered to the exact point where the mat is begins. Select, um, set wood and support blocks under the end of the control center of the screen. The wood blocks should be one quarter inch thick, tall, one and a quarter inch thick, inch taller than the desired mat material thickness. Wood block support block lowered to screen as your um, starting point. A warning: Do not open in the screen. Travel the lock valve with the if hitting with a um, near the under screwed. Um, under the screed, uh, the screed can be followed rapidly with the screed travel lock as valve is open. The following screed can cause severe injury to death. She you turn the screed to um, travel lock valve counterclockwise to open the valve and, and enough lower screed onto the lock and use the screed lift switch. Use the screed lift switch onto the down float position, lower the screed onto the wooden support blocks. Adjust the left right end gate height so the end gate floats over the ground and moves freely up and down per paragraph 218. J, turn the left and right screen through um, thickness control clock, clock, clockwise or counterclockwise until the no load and point no less or point of no less resistance from the movement of the screen thickness of the control is felt on the screw. This is in the null position. 
Turn thickness counterclockwise when low as when until the load is felt. And at the point of the load, turn the screw thickness to control of two more turns counterclockwise to establish initial angle with the attack of the screen. Open the screen travel lock valve you know, counterclockwise. Fully open the position. Loosen the steering guide indicator red rod hex nut and the adjusting cap screw. Extend the steering guide indicator rod steering guide. Guide indicator rod follow through the edge of the mat is to be tightened. Tighten the square steering guide indicator rod cap screws and um, hex nut. This show the screen travel lock valve and this show the steering guide indicator rod adjusting cap screw with a hex nut. The steering guide indicator rod steering guide indicator rod chain. All right, 223.2, paving control settings. Place the screw vibrator switch in the on auto position. Raise the flow gates on one half of the position, open position. By moving the left and right flow gate switch to the open and on position. C, a very flow, very, um, this shows the left flow gate, right flow gate switch, speed, um, screw vibrator switch, left flow gate switch. Um, verify the flow gate flow, checking the left and right flow gate switch in the indicator rods, left light flow gate, right, right position indicator rod, right flow gate position indicator rod. Indicate the screen paragraph 216 over the heat with the screen plates and establish, extinguish the main screen, extension screen, bu screen burners after the approximately 10 minutes. Fill the hopper with the paving material per paragraph 213. Place the feeder control switch on the screen control panels in the up on position. Place the aggravator switch on the on which and the panel on the manual position. When paving material reaches the level of the one of the three quarters of the auger diameter, place the aggravator switch on the on panel center off position. Shoot the feed control switch left with the screen control panel switch right with the screen control panel similar but does not include the feeder fuel pump auger and conveyor switches. Place the speed range with a switch and then down toward his pavement. Control handle with the speed range switch. Play with the auger conveyor switch in the auto. Start with the move of the pavement and forward with play pulling up the control handle. Release the move of the control both control handles toward forward to equal amount. After traveling approximately 200 feet, with the check with the um, material mat thickness and adjusting the angle of the tack necessary. If the mat to show that the streaks at the inside edge of the extension uh, screen, the adjusting uh, extension screen to heat and to remove the streaks. All right, adjust the auger uh, conveyor speed with the auger conveyor speed control valve adjusting the flow gate. Ensure the sufficient um, asphalt ends with the screen. Then pave with the material is rise one half of three quarters of the of the auger diameter. Paving material auger chamber nine um, end steering the paving machine to keep the steering guide, guide indicated rod aligned with the edge of the pavement reference mark auger speed control valve. All right, show the guide left access door, right panel access door, control center of top left access door, left access door, left access door, front left access door, rear at left access door, right access front top access door, center top right access door, right access door, right access cover, rear top right access door, um, skeed steps. All right, 224, access covered in door. The paving machine is equipped with the cover the doors, provided with the access the internal equipment, the cover the doors, equipped with the latches, hold the shut, and then the access is not needed. The doors are not equipped with the support rod, are, are equipped with support rods to hold them open. The screw steps are removable and tilt back to provide access to the upper area underneath. 224.1, open the access door. On the top right um, access door, use the following steps. Remove the air cleaner, cap assembly, extension tube, the twisting and the pulling the trade up. Push one over the um, one end of the latch and lift the other end up, turn 90 degrees. Use the um, hand lift the, the access door, support the access door, open them, placing the support rod in the support rod, rod socket. No protective color, um, cover, remove the flow clarity, air cleaner, cap assembly, the extension tube, handle, latch, and right in front, top, right access door. Open the top left and center top right access door using the following steps. Support rods in front top left access door rod, support rod right socket latch handle center top right, right access door. All right, push one end of the latch lift and one end of the turn 90 degrees. Use the hand, handle lift access door, support the access door, open the placing and supporting the rod and support rod socket. Open the center of the top left access door oh, using the following um, steps. Center top left access door, supporting rod socket, support rod center of the right access door. You open the center top right access door um, per step B using handle with the lifting center top left access um, um, door. Support the access door open the placing the support over the in the support rod socket. Open the rear top access door using the following steps. Remove the padlock securing the access door closed. Padlock key is located in the ignition key ring. Push on the push in one end of the latch and lift the other end of the turn 90 degrees. Use the handle rear access door and turn the latch 90 degrees to lower the lock. 
All right, raise the access door, support with the access door, open place the support with the rod and support rocket, and rear and top right access door, rear support rod socket, support rod, open the rear top left access door, the following steps, push in one end of the latch, lift the other end of the turn 90 degrees, rear and top left, rear and top left access door latch, using the edge of the door, raise the access door, turn the latch 90 degrees to lo the lock, raise the access door and support access door on, by placing the support rod in the support rod socket, support rod, support rod socket, um, rear lifting top left access door, open the gate, Gauge. Open the gauge left, um, right access door, left gauge panel access door, right gauge panel access door. Push in one end of the latch, lift the other end, turn 90 degrees, lift access door. 224 2, closing the access door. Close the rear top left access door. Use the following step to lift the access door. Release the support with the rod from supporting rod socket. Support rod, support rod socket. Rear top left access door. Place the support rod in the storage hook. Use the edge of the access door. door lower the um, access door. Push one end of the latch and lift the other end of the turn 90 degrees. Rear top left access door latch. Lower the access door. Turn the latch 90 degrees. Lower the lock. Check the close the rear top access door using the following steps. Lift access door to release the support rod and support rod socket. Place the support rod on the storage hook. Give the edge of the access door. Lower the access door. Push in one end with the latch and lift the other end. Turn 90 degrees. Latch and padlock the rear of the top access door. Lower access door. Turn the latch 90 degrees. Lower the lock. Secure access door and close with a padlock. Close the center top left door. It's following steps. Center top left access door. Support rod socket. Supporting rod. Center top right access door. Um, lift the access door. Release the support rod and the support rod socket. Place the support rod on the storage hook. Give the horn handle. Close the center top left uh, access, hand, hand, access door. D, close the front top left and center top right access door. Use the following steps. Lift the access door. Release the support of the rod for the support rod. Uh, support rod left, front and left is the access door. Support, support rod, latch, latch and handle. Center rod, access door. Place the support rod on the storage hook. Give the handle over the access door. Turn the latch 90 degrees. Hook the lock. Um, lower the lock. Show, show, lift the front top right access door. Even the long steps. No protective cover. Re um, remove from clarity. Air cleaner. Cap assembly. And extension tube handle. Latch from front top right, right access door. Lift the access door. Release the support rod from the support rod socket. Place the support rod on the storage hook. Give the handle lower the access door. Turn the latch 90 degrees. Lower the lock. Place the air cleaner. Cap assembly. And extension tube over the intake. And press the twist and unsure. Close the gauge panel, left and right access door, left, right gauge and panel access door, left gauge panel access, close the access door, turn the latch 90 degrees, lower the um, speed into the lock. 224.3, remove the screed, screed steps, from, grab the screed step at the back edge of the, block, the top of the step, lift and pull the step away from the tractor, the screed steps fold, 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 fold back and side step to the right with the step, separate with the hinge pin from the hinge. Hinge pin, screw screed step, and pinch pin. Installing screed steps. Um, position the screed steps aligned with the hinge pin with the, within the hinge. Screed steps fold back with a step of the left and the hinge pins into the hinge. Lift and pull it. Push the screed steps fully until the fuel is um, fully seated. 224 or 5. Um, remove the access cover. Push in one end of the latch and tilt lift the other end of the turn 90 degrees. Um, show the retaining bracket. The access cover the bottom edge of the access um, cover. The access cover the hand ports in the latch. Lifting access cover the hand ports until the co um, cover the retaining brackets for the bottom of the access for the cover clear with the bottom edge of the access port. 224.6 ins in in Installing access cover the cover the access cover the access port push press down on the hand ports on the over the access cover until the cover retaining brackets on the bottom edge of the access cover are fully seated on the bottom edge of the access port. Um, place the um, press the access cover against the port um, port of the wall near the latch turn the latch 90 degrees lower the um, lock. Our 225 decals instruction plate. There's on the 780T asphalt paving machine. There are several decals instructions located with the machine. Our extensive safety, efficient operation, related warnings, and cost and details. Put the next to danger and attention um, to prevent um, decals permitting the operation paving machine functions are placed on the around the machine operating platform prior to the operation paving machine. The operating crew should read all the safety instruction decals post, plates posted on the machine. A operation installation instruction safety plate following the instruction detail location content with each of operation instruction safety plate essential for the safe operation of the machine locate the re read all prior to the operation of the paving machine. Our control console breaks and identify the direct move, um, handle without opening and closing. It identifies one, two operating instruction plate provides instruction transportation hauling traveling starting shutdown paving machine. No, the parking brake is applied with the placement of the control handle the central neutral position travel switch in the neutral position. Transport data play um, provides clearance of the information below to tie down lifting locations and blocking instructions. Four storage battery starting circuit in the connection plate provide the particular um, schematic with the storage battery starting circuit and wires, um, cable hookups. 
Five, diesel burning ignition procedure plate provides burning ignition procedure. Six, excessive heat in the plate identifies maximum level time and safe operations created burners. Seven, paving machine identification number plate, the nano sending number, part number, the name of the manufacturer, contract number, date, and the serial number, and the registration number. Slow-moving vehicles warn off of the other vehicles, paving uh, machine slow speed. Do not sit on the rail warnings plate so that instruct the crew not to sit on the handrails. Ten rotating fan blades warn um, plate warning against the rotating of, um, fan blades. Do not operate the paving machine without radiator sh shroud in place. Eleven hot, uh, hot, uh, hot pressurized cap caution plate radiator cautions the crew the radiator cap is hot and pressurized. Conveyor movement warning plate in instructs the crew that it is not, not to stand in the hopper when the engine is running in the conveyor operation. 13 pinch point warning points warning crew pins um, pinch points bay between the paving machine ends of the crowning hopper wing with between the paving machine main frame um, moving screen um, screen screen toe arm 14 road uh, rotor rotating auger danger plate danger plates and construct with the crew to avoid the rug with the during uh, during operation Noise level warning plate. Instruct the crew of the wearing horror protection when operating the working near the paving machine. Uh, missing operating warning plate. Instruct the crew to perform paving machine maintenance in the corner of the maintenance and safety operation. High intensity no noise caution plate. Instruct the crew to have the hearing protection required for the operating of the pavement machine. 18 maintenance warning plate. Instruct the crew to perform maintenance uh, machine maintenance in the corner of the maintenance safety instructions. B information plates and decal of the following illustration show the location and content of the information plate details essential safe with the operation pavement machine. Locate and read all decals plate prior to the operation of the machine. Warn your slave 24 volt um, plate and indicate the location of the NATO 24 volt slave receptacle. To the auger conveyor speed control valve um, control plate illustrate the operative direction toward the auger control speed control valve the increase decrease of functions. Three hydraulic oil symbol plates indicate the hydraulic oil reservoir. Four, the pressure test manifold indicate the test port brake valve, auger control left, and auger control right sack valve, and the hitch cylinder not used. All right, five this is a screen vibrator speed plate identifies location screen vi um, vibration control valve. C um, six screen travel lock valve plate indicate the location screen travel um, lock valve. R7, thickness indicator scale detail of the um, screen height adjustment scale of the detail of the thickness the indicator identified by the decree thickness of this paving mat height adjustment scale given the visual reference of the height and screen above the below zero of the decal graduations do not add, um, equate any specific measurement. 8. Speed screen burner identification decals identify each screen with solenoid valve serving each screen burners. 9. Flow gate adjustment screw scale at decals identify the degrees when the flow gates are open. 10 vertical height adjustment decals identify the direction turn vertical height adjustments to the raised and lower extension screeds. 11 thickness control decals indicate the direction turn thickness and the control into the increase decrease of material paving material thickness. Screed control adjusting scale decal indicator makes a man marks and instruct the screed control position screed crown. Alright, we're going to cut the tape here. And come back and do the rest 50 pages.